When I was a little boy and saw that Walt Disney film, I began to fantasize. I began dreaming. I began wishing. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Osler Santo Tomas, and I firmly believe that life is not just about wishes and preferences. I was born poor. A lot of you may know that I have succeeded in life, but you never saw me struggle. You know, never saw me when I was starting in DXN. I was made to believe that if I go to school, get good grades, and find a safe and secure job, I'll be given a good salary, save enough money, and get all my dreams in life. My parents told me, Osler, the only thing we can give you is education. And since you are our eldest son, you have to make good in school. You have to become an engineer, work abroad, find a good company that will pay you well, and save money so that you will not become like us. That is how I was trained to earn money. I have nothing against my parents, but their way, the way they taught me how to succeed financially was wrong. Because how could poor people teach me? How could poor parents teach me how to become wealthy? Well, in fact, they don't even have the skill to earn so that they could become millionaires. So I was taught wrongly. If you are trained by your parents to study hard, go to school, get good grades, have nothing against their principles because all they want is for you to succeed. My parents really wanted me to succeed in life, just like your parents would. But their style, their methodology, I believe, is not correct. Because how can anyone teach something that they don't know about? So there I was, a little boy, seeing my parents struggle in life. And their main objective is for us to finish education. And because of that, we were not able to buy our own house. I'm proud that I'm an engineer. I'm a licensed civil civil engineer. But because of that, we were not able to buy a house. So I finished college renting apartments. I could see how my parents struggled paying the rent. There are a lot of times in my life that I saw them struggling to pay the electric bill, water bill. And since I was the eldest son, I would accompany my mother to the market. And my mother would choose the cheapest food. She would choose the cheapest chicken. She would choose the cheapest meat, cheapest vegetables. And when she chooses the cheapest ones, she even bargains. Do you know why? Because she has no capacity to pay for it. And when we go home, whom do you think will my parents feed the food that they bought? Their most loved ones. And who are they? Their children. Ladies and gentlemen, I got tired of being poor. I told you that yesterday. 
Being poor is not foreign to me. Poor in Europe is rich in the Philippines. I live in a third world country and I know what it is becoming poor. But as I've said, I am a person who got tired of being poor. I'm a parent, I'm a father, and I'm the provider of my family. I don't really give everything my children ask for. Do you give everything that your children gives you, uh, asks you? Of course not. But this is what hurts me most. This is what pains me. When my children will ask for something, and I know that they really need it, and then I will say as a provider of the family, son, Can we buy a cheaper kind? Or can we buy this next time? That is something that really hurts me. Because I know that my child really needs it, that I cannot provide being the provider of the family. That's why I'm telling you, I got tired of being poor. So I found ways. How can I improve my life? I kept on asking myself, how could I improve my life? And there I found the answer. My parents told me to apply for a job. I applied. But unfortunately, I was not able to go abroad. Why? Because the placement agency asked for so much placement fee, and I could not afford it. I could not even buy myself a plane ticket going from my city to Manila. So when I learned that I could not go abroad, I was really torn apart. My dreams fell apart. I was telling myself, if I could not work abroad, how can I ever change my life? But my classmates, who were then engineers, told me, Osler, don't despair. You're a professional. You're ahead of the rest of the Filipinos. Why not work for the government? After two years, I really, I got a job. And whenever I went to the site, my ears flapped like the elephant's ears. Do you know why? Everyone in the field called me boss. Everybody. Young and old called me sir. Everybody called me engineer. And I was so proud that I was a young engineer. And that even motivated me to work even harder. But when my first salary came, it was placed inside an envelope. After I counted, I got more discouraged. Do you know why? It was only about $100. Do you think with $100, I could fulfill every dream that I have? Of course not. So I used my license for only one month. Only one month. I could remember my mother saying, Osler, I spent a lot of time, effort, and money sending you to school. And you're not going to use your license? Ladies and gentlemen, a practical man. I didn't have the experience. I didn't have the capital to start a construction firm. So what did I do? I just did what I knew at that time. And what was that? To look for another job. So I became a drug pusher. I became a drug pusher, but the legal one. I was a medical representative of one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in Asia. And I worked there for 10 years. I had a shiny car. I always looked good wearing a tie. I wore shiny shoes. I had a big shiny bag. But did I get my dreams? No. 
I have nothing against employment. I was a very good employee before. And I was earning ahead of the rest of the Filipinos. And I looked good. But instead of saving money to get my dreams, all I had was debt. I was so indebted. And one day, I prayed to God. I told Him, God, please give me a business. Please give me a business. A business that I could do because I don't have any experience in business. A business that I could do and a business that would not require too much capitalization because God, I told him, I don't have any money. And I like to praise God. I like to thank God. He gave me DXN. And just like you, I became very excited. Just like you, when you were beginning, the coffee was very expensive. Because I know a lot of you right now here are thinking, how can I succeed? 100 PV is so expensive. The coffee is so expensive. Ladies and gentlemen, I started with the coffee. The person who invited me told me, Osler, do you drink coffee? I told him, yes. What kind of coffee do you drink? Let's keep it a secret. Let's call it Nescafe. Okay? <laughs> I told him, I, I drink Nescafe. And he asked me, how long have you been drinking it? I told him, since I was a little boy, I was drinking it. Then he told me, where do you buy it? From supermarkets. Then he asked me another question. Ostler, you have been buying Nescafe for so long a time. Did you even earn one peso? I told him no. Then he told me, Ostler, would you be willing to change your coffee to Lingzi 3 in 1? And I was thinking, why would I change my coffee? I love Nescafe so much. Why? But he told me, if you drink this coffee, your skin will look good. I was telling myself, this guy must be tricking me. Because this is the first time that I've heard of a coffee that will make your skin glow. Then he added more. Osler, if you change your Nescafe to Lingzi 3-in-1 coffee, you will look younger. I told myself, this guy must be fooling me. Do you know why? Because I thought that he was just saying it because he wants to earn money from me. Then he added more. If you change your Nescafe to Lingzi coffee, you will stop losing money. I asked, why am I losing money? Because you keep on buying coffee from the supermarket and you don't earn anything. Shift to DXN coffee and you will earn and you can pay your debt. And when he told me that I can pay my debt, my eyes almost popped out. I told myself, what kind of coffee is this? I will drink it and teach people how to drink it and I will earn money. And I asked the price, how much is one sachet of coffee? And he answered me, about half a dollar. When he told me that it was about half a dollar, I almost fell out of my chair. Do you know why? Because Nescafe is very cheap. Nescafe is very cheap. But why is DX and coffee my favorite coffee right now? I don't leave my house without it. My bag is, contains Lingzi coffee. And if you invite me to drink coffee in Starbucks, I will never drink their coffee. Because you know why? I learned from Laszlo. Life is too short for bad coffees. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, honestly, I didn't like the taste of Nescafe, uh, uh, Lingzi 3-in-1 coffee at first. Because it was sweet. I was so used to 
drinking Nescafe Black. And when they introduced me Lingzi 3 in one coffee, I didn't like it. It was sweet. But why is Lingzi coffee my favorite coffee right now? I didn't like the taste and I didn't like the price. Why is DXN coffee my favorite coffee now? The answer is very simple. I didn't see the taste of the coffee. I didn't see the price of the coffee. Do you want to know what I saw? Do you really want to know what I saw? What I saw was hope. What I saw was hope. Hope that one day, I can turn my life around. I saw hope that one day I'll be able to get my dreams and change my life. I saw hope that I'll be able to change the lives of the people that I love. And if that is what you see in DXM, I will guarantee you that you will succeed like anybody who has succeeded in the extent.